Hello my friends, I welcome you all to the Creative Thinkers Hub channel. Today we are going to be learning that how to create visual harmony with the help of design elements. First we look, go to pixels.com and type woman with headdress. Okay. And we are going to be downloading certain images. Now, okay, this lady has got, so we have two images of the same lady in the same clothes. Okay, so we download them. It is by Sevim Dalan. Okay, both these images, even this second one. So, it's by Sevim Dalan. <coughs> now, what we do is open Coral Draw and then take an A4 page and now we drag both these images and put them there. Wow, we have got big images. Great. Okay, they are humongous. So now we just put them here. Okay, somewhere around our page size. And what are we going to do is that we are going to go into Coral Photo Paint. And we are going to cut them out. Okay, in the cutout lab. Now it's extremely important to work with these videos i mean uh, these images and this is what we get now what you see here is that i left the outside of the hair okay the reason being that now uh, we take a very thin brush and we uh, kind of cut the hair out you know that what the hair is made of that is what we want and then obviously close it from one end and do the same here also now why are we doing this that why did we paint the hair first and then cut it out the simple reason being that we want the software to know that this is the hair that we want <coughs> see in the lower part the hair came perfectly here it's not so what we do, we take the eraser tool and remove off what we don't want because obviously other than us, nobody else knows what image we had taken and what was the hair exactly like. But the more natural look you want, the better it is. So just erase all this uh, dust around it and say okay. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to show you everything because obviously it takes time. It's very simple. I'm just using the eraser tool. Nothing to rocket science about it. Now again, see how this, this hair is selected in the same way. So I've select, selected the whole hair and then cut it out. Okay. Now again, you remove the dust from this image also. Now your, this image was very, very difficult to select because of the a glow of the sun okay so you take this very thin brush see that is the reason i'm showing you how to erase in this you take this very 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 uh very fragmented brush so that you are even if it does go on top of the hair you are really not spoiling it and then the solid parts like the hand and all you can take the hard brush and finish it off and we are done okay so this is what we get now what are we going to do is that we are going to be playing with both these images make sure that you know uh, with this expanse of our legs she is covering the page size and again we go into the cutout lab after duplicating the image see it's extremely important duplicate the image because now what are we going to do is that we are going to now start getting into our elements of design so in this 
you only select the hands body and hair the clothes do not have to be a part of your selection okay make sure that that is there and you can click on the preview button down below now see your some of it has got erased okay because of our outline uh, direction yet so you keep cross checking we come here and we fill this we don't want anything erased so you close it this way and again get into the preview and see what happens oh my god sorry 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 see this is what happened when you press enter after doing the thing you have to press tab now this output has been generated even before i could preview it now mind uh the if the error is there very good let it be there we'll i will show you a way to correct it so this is what you call even mastering the software okay so here we have taken care of two things that is value and color okay there is a value in the shaded part and the tonal difference now that part that is problematic we you nudge it by 100 and let it go on the other side duplicate the image again the colored image crop it duplicate the cropped image okay and give it a gray scale at 0 0 0 everything should be zero why because this is flat gray scale that we created and overlay it see now what happens in a uh, uh, coral photo paint that same color doesn't come in coral draw so you will have to you know there is a slight change so you take this and uh, we we give it a transparency okay we take this really thin brush and just rub around this part yeah so our gradient is created see now it's blending not so well okay so we blend it that way okay let the next part be the dark light it's okay fine now see now again there is a difference in the position now how do you get that in the same position it's very simple go into wireframe and it will show you okay so from there we just come here and uh, make it 0.5 no let's make it one okay zoom in and nudge it down till it overlaps great okay so it's overlap perfectly now what we are going to do go into enhance and check it and then convert both of these into bitmap don't forget to make it gray scale okay if you make it color uh, core, uh, rgb or anything it will be a problem make it gray scale now we finished this we did not finish this at the initial stage because we didn't know what we are going to be doing okay let's finish this and this is what we get now this you take a very thin brush three point brush and finish this also why because we now other than the body you want everything in color again make it 100 and there she overlaps perfectly great <clears throat> now this image we are going to create a blur around it because now we are going to show that you know this is her a uh, hidden self or the devil within us or whatever you may call you know is peeping around so that's what it is fine you crop that other image also because i think you know there was some dust left that's why it didn't come to the exact crop size okay and then you reduce this the face side should be kind of the same of the image in the front okay then you co copy paste it and 
enlarge it a little. <clears throat> then you blur it a little more than that image okay i think the image over here is very solid we blur it so sorry see so select this image blur it blur it a little more and we are done so this is taking care of form and value now let's save our artwork now uh, we take this further so as and how we are moving ahead i will be telling you all that what what design elements we are covering okay uh, let's make this a norm for all further videos okay so that you know that every artwork that is made is purely with elements of design now here we are using texture okay so what we are going to do is that she is stone face and her baby face is kind of peeping around so we keep the brick thing this way okay and do not do this without duplication otherwise you will not get it and then just crop this so that the hand is both the hands are proper and do not have the brick feel okay so we have taken care of color value uh, form and texture now here we are going into point okay so point has been taken care of and this is how you delete the or remove i would say we give this a transparency and this particular thing now we just make it here and therefore it becomes a shape so with the after the point it becomes a shape now this is also a shape first okay now we are going to see that how we could make a psychedelic effect so this is also a shape first this shape is now once you let's make it give it a size so it's more controllable when we are duplicating it let's duplicate it control d okay and 90 control d and it will reduce because what we have said please reduce with reduce the outline with as the image gets smaller okay now see this is a smart and shortcut way of popping okay so now after the shape this is the form that we ended up creating and now what we are going to be doing is that we are going to create start putting color now black 100 90 80 70 okay 60 50 40 30 20 and 10 okay so what we did now these are values this is a value that you are giving so these are different values of shade that you are giving so that is the reason even in the uh, gray uh, outline of the uh, the girl that we have put here we have used value now we from free pick now let's download this one this is a good design it's by uh, zarubin leonid okay and this is how it looks we open this artwork here okay and we are only going to be taking a part of this okay because i have only planned for a part i don't want the whole artwork i only want a part so that i am adding color to the artwork so delete everything that you don't need okay delete everything that you don't need okay great fine so we just select a kind of a small part arbitrarily just like that okay and we paste it here and shift page down okay so it's right behind in this there is line shape value and color okay how value is there because there are gradients okay 
because there are gradients. Now we take a Bezier tool and we create this one line. You could even take a two point line, that's also fine. And we, sorry, it's not sizing. Unlock this and make it 50. Okay, we want this line to be at 50. Now we come into the smudge tool and that line, you can curve it. You see how I'm doing it? So make sure this central dot that is there now, the central dot that if you want to go up, then it should be below the line. If you want to go down, it should be above the line. So make sure that is there and you can very easily create this. Okay. How easy was it? Okay. With the help of the smudge tool. Great. Learn something new today. Awesome. Fine. So this is how it is. <laughs> Let's give them outlines of 0 0.75. Okay. And reduce our nudge space to 5 mm. Control D and down and forward. Okay. And this is what we are going to do. And uh, yeah, let's take a polygon and make it 4. Okay. We'll have a triangle there. I mean, sorry, a rhombus. So line and shape, both are taken care of. Okay. A rhombus is the shape and this is the line. Okay. And this is how we are going to create this. So it's kind of with the same flow of the uh, rhombus. Okay. And then let's give it this uh, blue. No, this is too dark. Let's make it light. Yeah, this is a good blue. And create this as a movement or focus area. Okay. So let this be your. So there is a movement which is moving our eye from her face to that ghostly thing that we have created behind. Okay. And then now we are going to see how point that is this point that we have created of 2 mm circle is going to from the point. Now it's becoming a line that duplicated becomes a shape and that all together gives you a texture and space all the dots the the area the white area behind all of them also works with space okay that is the same with all the lines also that we created with the shape and this and even with the uh the colored artwork behind so now we select this also and we power clip this one also in the rectangle that we created now this is the end of artwork with all our design elements okay that is point line shape form texture color value and the last one is space so all our design elements are totally covered. Okay. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and do not forget to share because only sharing increases knowledge. Thank you.